Let's bring out our first contestant.
je Anglic Pačínsky, ktorý je vašim dobrým rovnicu medzinárodovej kinetisko oraz záležal Kuzvec Kortesko Kuzkeho, ktorý sa načila. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nepal Joana Pichlovsky. I am 20 years old. I'm double majoring in digital media and design and business at the University of Connecticut. My true passion in life is ballroom Latin dancing, which I've accomplished the title of being a world finalist. Also, I was a part of the Polish Scout Organization for 12 years. Thank you, Pichin Kler. Thank you. And contestant number nine. Serdecznie. Mam na imię Caroline Płaczek, mam 22 lat i studiuję biologię chemię na Pace University. W przyszłości chciałabym zostać dietetyczką. E, trenuję też taniec towarzyski, więc w którym w tym roku zdobyłam też e, różne tytuły mistrzowskie na naszą. Good evening everyone, my name is Caroline Płaczek. I go to Pace University and I'm studying biology and chemistry. And in the future I would like to become a dietitian. I do ballroom dancing competitively and this year I went to USA Dance Nationals and qualified for the finals. Thank you. Thank you. And contestant number 10. Thank you. Hey, I can test in eleven. Thank you. And our final contestant, contestant number 15.
Thank you. Let's have a big, warm, welcoming round of applause for all of our ladies in the cocktail. A little louder. Czekając na pokaz kandydatek w kostiumach kąpielowych, chcielibyśmy podziękować w imieniu Aldona von Labe, President, CEO, właścicielka Miss Polonia State, National oraz International Pageant System. Miła Gładysz, Vice President, Miss Polonia Organization z główną siedzibą w USA. Chcielibyśmy najserdeczniej podziękować następującym osobom. Gregor Suchy, Miss Polonia Niemiec. Danuta Rak i Ewelina Wachowska, Kanada. Maxim Callington, Miss Polonia Szwecji. Matilda Sudak, Anglia. Za ich współpracę przy organizacji konkursu Miss Polonii Świata osoby te udostępniły informacje i zdjęcia kandydatek, które zostały zakwalifikowane do wzięcia udziału na podstawie nadesłanych zdjęć w konkursie Miss Polonia World, Miss Polonia Świata. Specjalne podziękowanie i wyrazy wdzięczności dla naszych dyrektorów stanowi John Kładysz, Miss Polonia, Connecticut. John Mindura, John Koss, Edward Bernard, Miss Polonia, Massachusetts. Stanisław Kuzma, Miss Polonia, New York. Andrzej Perczyński, Miss Polonia, New Jersey. Mark Gida, Miss Polonia, California. We'd also like to thank some of our sponsors. Lowell International, Mr. Conrad Lau from Chicago, Illinois. Media coverage, Super Express City, New York City, Mr. Adam Michenka, Radio Rampa. Carmack Auto Sales, uh, Jersey Phillip President, Greenpoint Consultants, Margaret Zawinski of Brooklyn, New York, Mr. and Miss Wanda and Henry Damagala of Brooklyn. And of course, the Polish and Slavic Center, Azina Kaminski, President, Kamir's Nageman, Building Manager, and Bartosz Wienowski, Office Administration. Chcielibyśmy podziękować naszym sponsorom, Lower International, Pan Konrad Lowell z Chicago, Media Coverage, Super Express USA, Nowy Jork, Pan Adam Michaela, Radio Rampa. Our judges tonight are 
Mr. Slavomir Plata, attorney in law, Manhattan, New York City. Thank you. Mr. Adam Pacheta, editor in chief, Super Express, American Edition, headquarters, New York City. Carmack Auto Corp of Brooklyn. Adam Kalschnacki, U.S. Boxing Federation. Monica Adamski, Editor-in-Chief, Radio Rampa Radio for Modern Polish Americans in New York City. Thank you, Monica. Petro Design, Residential and Commercial Architects, Michael Lutrensky from Massachusetts. Thank you, Michael. And our special guest, Patricia McCula. Playing in the year 2007, Playboy Magazine, American Edition from Chicago. Let's <laughs> have a big round of applause for our judges tonight. So tonight's judging is going to be scored on the following criteria. These are going to be the qualities that our judges are going to look for tonight when determining our 2015 Miss Polonia winner. Originality, self-confidence, stage presence, speech ability, Grace, poise, natural beauty, being an ideal role model, charm of course, radiant runway poise, being a dream girl, good entertainer, personality, extreme beauty, vocabulary, and of course their dress tonight. Sędziowska ocena konkursu odbywa się na podstawie następujących wymagań konkursu Miss Polonia USA. Zewnętrzna oryginalność, pewność siebie, prezentacja na scenie, pewne siebie, wysławianie się, gracja odpowiednia, prosta postawa, naturalna uroda, osoba godna do naśladowania, niepowtarzalny urok osobisty, żywo poruszająca się na scenie, wymarzona dziewczyna, żywa prezentacja na scenie, wyróżniająca się osobowość, niezwykła uroda osobista, sposób wysławiania się, odpowiednie słowa, przeglądanie sposobu, prze, przestrzeganie sposobu ubioru na scenie w czasie konkursu, wzór załączony, szczególnie suknie galowe. Tonight, I'd like to bring up someone, <clears throat> our current Miss Polonia, New Jersey, and USA 2014. I'd like everyone to give a big round of applause for Alexandra Gaskarowski from New Jersey. We're going to ask her a few questions. Miss Polonia, USA 2014, Alexandra Gaskarowski. How are you tonight, Andrew? Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you guys? <laughs> good, doing good. How's everybody enjoying their night? Great. <laughs> Alexandra, a couple of questions for you this evening. What is it about Polonia in New Jersey that stands out in your mind, differentiates it from other areas? Polonia in New Jersey to me is special because I'm Polish, that means a lot to me, and I was born in Poland. New Jersey, I was raised in New Jersey, it means a lot to me as well. So to marry two things that I love and compete in a contest that has two things that I love, Poland and New Jersey, it means a lot. So that's what I love about it. Thank you, Alexandra. And what are some of the most important achievements that you've had thus far in your life that you'd like to share with us? 
to me, my achievements and success in my life is doing things that I'm passionate about. I love art, I love music, and that's what I feel life is about. I want to be consistent and do things that I love. So I love art, music, beauty, entertainment. That's what I live for. I live around people that I love, my friends, my family. And to me, if you're being passionate about what you do and that's what you work on, that's success to me because love, family, friends, and what you're passionate about and living a life like that might as well. So that is success to me. Thank you. One, one final question. Do you have any words of advice for our future Miss Polonia USA 2015? My words of advice would be just to enjoy it, have fun with it. You're young, just live your life. It's fun, so just be confident and enjoy the time. Thank you. Let's have a big round of applause for the beautiful Miss Alexander. This is my favorite part of the show, by the way.
Give a round of applause for Nicole. Thanks, Nicole. And contestant number nine, Carolina Plasnik from New York. Big round of applause for Carolina. Thank you. And contestant number 10, Jessica Sudaika from Massachusetts. Thank you very much, Jessica. Contestant number 11, Katarzyna Schwarzek from New York. Let's hear it for Katarzyna. Contestant number 12, Annetta Sucharski from Massachusetts. Let's hear it for Annetta. And our final competitor, 15, Katarzyna. Sorry, I can ask uh, fans loud from New York. That's the number 15. Let's hear a big round of applause for all the girls in our swimsuit event. visiting the Miss Ponya USA 2015 pageant? Um, because it's my first time um, uh, sightseeing, a lot of sightseeing, um, yeah, and enjoying New York. <laughs> Have you been to any of our museums or Statue of Liberty or any of those? I've been to the Statue of Liberty, of course, and um, to Manhattan. Yeah, but I want to visit a lot more because I think I will stay 
um, a few days more, so I have uh, the opportunity. <laughs> well, that gives you plenty of time to check out some of the other sites in the city. All right, now for some of the tough questions. Are you ready, Yudita? What can you tell us about German Polonia and Polonia in general that is important to you? There are two um, very important things for me about Polonia and Germany. Um, I really appreciate it that um, we are sticking together and helping each other. I live in Berlin, so there is a big Polonia in uh, Berlin. And um, I also love it that we maintain the Polish culture and tradition. Thank you, Yudita. And what can you tell us about some of the more important accomplishments you've had to this point in your life? Thank you. Um, I just finished my studies, a Bachelor of Arts, and um, I'm also very grateful that beside my studies, I could um, travel a lot. I recently went to Australia, and I also went to Asia and the US, and um, that's because of modeling what I'm doing, and yeah, I really love the stuff I'm doing. Thank you. One final question. What words of advice would you give to our next Miss Polonia USA 2015? Yeah, I would say that you always um, stay natural, that's the best way, and always see all opportunities as an adventure. Thank you very much to beautiful Yudita, our Miss Polonia Germany and World 2014. Let's give her a big hand round of applause. Our next portion of the competition tonight is going to be our evening wear contest. The evening wear contest will be judged on overall first impressions, grace, personality, and stage presence of our contestants. I'm going to give the list of contestants again so to freshen everyone's mind. Our contestant number one is Polina Baklowski from Connecticut. Our contestant number two is Camilla Bialeka from Arizona. Contestant number three was Olivia Dudek from Wisconsin. Contestant number four was Lauren DeRosa from Connecticut. Contestant five was Victoria Gallanty from Michigan. <laughs> Michigan's a loud state. I like that here. Contestant number six was Joanna Krupa from Massachusetts. Contestant number seven was Victoria Tanafo from New York City. And I think the idea is that each table and the families of each, of each of the contestants should definitely try to outdo the other ones when it comes to applause and cheering on the girls because I think they're doing an incredible job tonight. So our uh, contestant number eight was Nicole Peranchowski from Connecticut. That's what I'm talking about. Contestant number nine was Carolina Plazdek from New York. Contestant number 10 was Jessica Sujeka from Massachusetts. <laughs> Contestant 11 was Katarzyna Swadek from New York. <laughs> Contestant number 12 was Aneta Sucharski from Massachusetts. And our final contestant, 15, was Agneska Banslau from New York. 
and Anna's going to give them to us in Polish. Thank you. Przed nami, przed państwem, pokaz sukni wieczorowych. Sędziowie oceniają pierwsze wrażenie, wdzięk i elegancję na scenie. Oto nasze kandydatki. Like to bring out contestant number one, Paulina Blankowski from Connecticut. Let's hear some applause.
Let's hear it for Joanna. Thank you, Joanna. Contestant number seven, Victoria Conifel from New York. Let's hear it for Victoria. Thank you so much, Victoria. And contestant number eight, Nicole Peter Schalski from Connecticut. Thank you, Nicole. Contestant number nine, Carolina Plazek from New York. Let's hear some applause for Carolina. Thank you so much, Carolina. Contestant number 10, Jessica Sutka from Massachusetts. It's here for the lovely Jessica. Jessica. Contestant number 11, Katarzyna Schwara, New York City. Big round of applause for Katarzyna. Thank you. And number 12, Aneta Sucharski from Massachusetts. And our final contestant, 15, Ignacia Fanslau from New York City.
Let's hear it for Mascot. Przed Państwem ostatnia konkurencja pytania sędziów. Prosimy pierwszą kandydatkę. So the final portion of this evening's competition is going to be interview questions. And how this is going to work is I'm going to bring out a envelope of sealed questions that the judges have painstakingly written down. And you, the contestants, are going to reach in. You're going to randomly grab an envelope that we've had paid inspectors check to make sure they haven't been tampered with. And you're going to hand me the envelope, and I'll read you the question. If for some crazy reason the question is in Polish, I'll hand the question to my lovely assistant. Give me one second, we're going to get those questions. Are you ready? Our first contestant, Paulina Baklowski from Connecticut. How are you doing this evening? Good. Good, how are you? Excellent. Okay, are you ready? Let me just break the seal. question is, what would you like to accomplish after winning the 2015 Miss Polonia Beauty Pageant? What I would like to accomplish is to make younger kids all feel better about themselves. I feel like young girls are always feeling down on themselves when they get into middle school, and I feel like it's really important then to bring out their inner beauty, and I feel like I could spread that through every single girl in this world, and I feel like that is the most important thing for them to get through life. Thank you. Thank you, Paulina. Let's hear it for the beautiful Paulina, contestant number one from Connecticut. Okay, contest, contestant number two, Camila Peleca from Arizona. a very good question. Are you ready for your question? If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Why? This is a two or three parter. What would it be? Why? And how would you use it? Do you want me to repeat that? Okay. This is a very good question. I have a five-year-old, so I've thought about this one a lot. If you could have any superpower, okay, what would that superpower be? Why would you choose that to be your superpower? And finally, how would you use it to better the world or 
or whatever you would use it for. You got it? So if I could have any superpower in the world, it would be to be able to spread love to everyone so that we wouldn't have... <laughs> So that there would be no war and that everyone could understand each other and be able to live in peace and harmony. Thank you. Thank you, Camilla. Let's hear it for Camilla. That was a very good answer. Very difficult question, too, I think. Our third contestant, Olivia Dudek from Wisconsin. Lovely Anna Cabalars will maybe mix them up a little. Okay, this one's a little more serious. You ready? If you would become the next Miss Polonia USA, how would you use this very prestigious title to the advantage? of the world? That's a, that's a very serious question. You want, you want to take a moment to think about that? Yes. <laughs> Let's give her a moment to think about it. Well, um, I double majored in biology and French at Washington University in St. Louis, and I'm now getting a Master's of Public Health at UW-Madison, and I'm applying to medical school. Thus, I would like to use my title in order to prevent, uh, promote <laughs> um, education for young girls, because education is really, really important, and I feel like a lot of girls these days tend to feel like they do not, um, they should not pursue higher goals, but I would definitely want to promote the success of young girls and um, higher education goals. Thank you, Olivia. See you for Olivia. Contestant number four, Lauren DeRosa from Connecticut. Are you ready to pick your special random? Okay, let's see what we have here. This one's pretty easy. Why would you like to win today? I would like to win today because I feel that I would be a very good representative of the Polish community in the USA and also because I'm Polish because of my grandmother on my mother's side and I think that it would make it I think it would make her very proud of me and I think when you win this title a lot of people look up to you and I think that I have a lot of good qualities that people would like to look up to and going to school I'm in nursing at Southern Connecticut State University and I want to become a nurse anesthetist and I would like to travel the world and winning I would be able to go to Poland and further my studies there and I think that would really help me in my future. Thank you. Thank you Laura. Our contestant number five is next, Victoria Gallantry from Michigan. How are you today, Victoria? How are you? Thank you. Okay. Your question, Victoria. It's a cultural one. Which Polish tradition do you like most and why? My favorite Polish tradition is Wigilia, that is when you celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, and I'm sure everybody knows Wigilia if you're Polish. And my favorite tradition within the Polish Wigilia is sharing of the Płatek, when you go around to all of your friends and family and share a piece of yourself and blessings for the new year. Thank you. Good answer. Sarah for Victoria. 
contestant number six, Joanna Krupa from Massachusetts. Joanna, try to grab one about superpowers. That seems to be the most interesting. Okay, your question is, what is your biggest accomplishment in life? Well, I've made many accomplishments in my life. I believe, I believe that my family is very proud of me, but my biggest accomplishment is going to nursing school at Elms College. And I'm really glad how good I'm doing at school so far. In the future, I, I hope to become a nurse practitioner. Thank you. Thank you, Joanna. Let's hear it for Joanna Karupa. Contestant number seven, Victoria Conifel from New York. This is even better than the superpower question. <laughs> Who scored the goals today for Poland against Germany? And as a backup, if you don't know the answer, tell us a little something about what superpowers you would have, if you could have any superpowers, as a plan B. Do you need a moment? Would you like to Google that maybe? Well, I would have watched the game, but I was busy preparing for this competition, so I don't know the answer to that question. However, if I had to have a superpower, it would have to be to probably teleport from one place to another, because realistically speaking, there is so much more you can accomplish if you can just you know, theoretically go from one state to another, to another continent, to another country. There are so many um, different things that you can help and attend to create the world a better place. So I think teleportation would be pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you, good. Good answer, Victoria. Let's hear it for Victoria. Very difficult question. Incidentally, if you did have the power to teleport, you probably would have been able to go to a TV at some point and see the game and have the answer to that question. So, very good thinking. Contestant number eight, Nicole Pruszowski from Connecticut. I'm kind of nervous sweating answering some of these. And if you had to answer one of those two questions, would you have answered the question about the game or about the superpower? Uh, superpower. We'll, we'll get to that later. All right, your question is, what would it mean for you to win Miss Polonia 2015? and have superpowers. Miss Polonia USA isn't just a title to me. I believe that the girl has to have beauty and brains. I believe she has to be a great representative of her heritage, her culture, which is Polish, as well as living in the United States. I feel I'm a, just a great example because I'm very hardworking, very ambitious, and I try to be the best person I can be every day. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Tara for Nicole. Our next contestant is contestant number nine, Carolina Plastic from New York. Okay, Carolina. Your question tonight is, who is your idol 
and why. My idol might not be someone that all of you know. It's actually Michal Malikowski. He is a ballroom dancer. He is an eight-time world champion. Um, since I do ballroom dancing, I look up to him. He's been dancing for over 20 years, and he's worked really hard for all his titles, and I hope that someday I can dance at least half as good as him. I mean, he works very hard for all his titles. He dances every day, and that's his life. And I wish I could have half the charisma and joy and passion that he has for dance. And he's my idol because he's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it for Carolina. That's a good answer. Anna, do you think that he has any superpowers? Probably. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Has to be. Uh, contestant number 10 is next, Jessica Sirocco from Massachusetts. Okay, this is a very good one. Are you ready, Jessica? Okay. If someone came to visit you in your state as a guest, where would you take them and why would you choose that as the place to take them? I would actually choose my backyard. I have 40 chickens there and that is a typical Polish person's thing to have chickens in their backyard. <laughs> so that is why I would pick my backyard. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Jessica. Our next contestant is Katarzyna Schwader from New York. Okay, why do you want to become Miss Polonia and what would you accomplish with the title? I would like to become Miss Polonia because growing up in a Polish-American household, I feel like it's very important to preserve the Polish cultural heritage and um, just spread the Polish Polish cultural heritage. Um, also, I feel that I would. Can you please repeat the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> and what would you accomplish with the title once you won? What I would accomplish with the title when I won is bringing back um, my title to Buffalo, New York, which is where I go to school. We have a Polish club there, but I feel that it has gone downhill over the past few years, and I feel that reviving the Polish club would be able to open up um, the culture to everyone and allow everyone to experience the Polish heritage through, um, through the club. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Katarzyna. Anna, did you grow up with chickens, by the way? Yes. <laughs> Seconds. I know it's a very Polish thing. Thank you very much, Karagina. Contestant number 12 is next. Anara, sorry, Aneta Sukarski from Massachusetts. Thank you. Okay, this is a very good question. What are you most proud of when your friends ask you to tell them about Poland? When I'm, 
What I am most proud of when my friends ask me about Poland is that I'm, I am able to tell them that it's the country where my parents were born and raised, and it, you, as well as the country where my grandparents and great grandparents have fought. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number 15, Agnowska Fanslau from New York. This is our final question tonight. invite three people to lunch, who would those three people be and why would you chose those three people? Do you want to repeat that? Three people, lunch, and why would you invite those three people? First, they will be my parents. I am the six in my family and I love them so much. They give me a lot of love and they give me good education. They always take care about me. Second, it will be Vinny Vela from the movie Soprano Casino with who I was playing first my movie after my school. He's a very lovely person and he take care of me. He's for me like a father. And the third person, it will be my coach for my acting school, who put a lot of work that I can be good, not only what I am doing, what I am feeling in the acting, but also he taught me that my education is very important because with the, without education, I can do nothing in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, next shot. Those are very, very pointed questions. Thank you girls for those answers. Let's have a big round of applause for the girls. Some of those were some very, very tough questions. That ends our competition for tonight. In just a short while, we will have a new Miss Polonia USA 2015. <laughs> moment koronacja nowej Miss Polonii USA 2015 roku. Prosimy o wynik głosowania.
the meantime, let's hear a big round of applause for our beautiful girls. You did an incredible job tonight, guys. I personally was blown away by you guys. Pushing that. Dziękujemy bardzo i poprosimy Mark, can you open envelope and read it to us? Thank you. Okay. Our second runner-up tonight for Miss Polonia 2015 is the beautiful Paulina Baklowski from Connecticut. Let's hear it for Paulina.
to bring out Miss Colonial World 2015. Let's give a big round of applause for our winners tonight. So I think we're all winners tonight. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you, girls. Gratulujemy nowej Miss Polonii USA 2015 roku. A Państwu dziękujemy za uwagę i życzymy wspaniałego wieczoru. Do zobaczenia za rok, ponownie. W Centrum Polsko-Słowańskim zgodnie z 20-letnią tradycją w październiku.